What I want to do is show you how to control the variable based upon a button. It's a lot different because now we're starting to get into if statements. Like always, I can kind of quickly get started by using reference already. Like this top part is still very much relevant. This bottom part, however, is going to change a little bit. The function on GUI is going to stay, but this sandwiched stuff right here is going to change. So if I save this script also from the previous example, And I'm just going to change slider to button. So that's another way you can just do what I did in the last video where I went in there to uh, copy paste it from the finder. So, All right. So this time it, let me pull up my example on my other computer. All right, and this is going to be still not based upon slider, but based upon speed. So we have to rewrite the variable speed in here. And then get rid of the static variable float. So in this case, oh, but we do need a static variable out there. So, and this time it's going to be called trigger. So I might as well just use this over. And it's an integer this time. Remember, you need a static variable in order to pass for another function. All right, now, so function on GUI blah 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 this all needs to go away except for maybe i can reuse some of this code uh yeah i can use this code right here so let's get everything out of the quotes and type in controls and remember that other gui script is sitting out there so luckily i know where it's sitting and this is where i i would get into the argument that says you know having Veritable GUIs on ultimate or many objects it gets very confusing because now I can't see where the other one's sitting. I had to write it down. Okay. All right. This out of here. Just like that. So one box that has controls. So there's going to be two controls, two buttons. And this is how you use buttons. So if a GUI button and it's a rectangle ten thirty width of eighty and twenty. And this button's going to be labeled go. So just write that code in go. And since this is resting in an if statement, when this button gets pushed, something happens. Now just remember that something happens. You can write anything you want in here. Um, for this example, it's going to be very simple. Speed equals 200. So up here at zero, transmits over to 200. So now what happens is this, uh, control C, control V, write some different coordinates for it. This time it's fitting 50 pixels down. It's a stop button and speed equals zero. Just like that. Very simple. Learn to copy paste though. Uh, don't hand code everything. So let's 
exit that out, hit play, see if there's any errors. Sure enough, there is. And this is based upon speed again, not slide. Okay, again, no GUI button shows up because I still have to kind of copy this box over. But you could test the script regardless of that because any script that has any kind of bad juju going on will actually stop the process. So, okay, so just move a box over here, eliminate this one, relabel it. and then slide over GUI button. There we go. So this box will not go until I hit the button, it stops, Then I got speed. Now I can mix that up too, maybe another box, but I won't do it because it's beating the, the whole concept to death. Uh, maybe another box would have a go and then a rotate and rotate based upon speed, and then I could hit stop. So I would have to have two variables for that one. All right, so that's it for this example. Go on to the next. Next one's gonna be really fun. Start getting into collisions.